Vixens, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Glad to have you here. My name is Valerie. Um, so, guys, I've been like filming, filming, filming like crazy. Um, I've gotten one, two, three videos done. This is my fourth video. So, I was kind of off to a rocky start, but things are starting to get a little smoothing out a little bit. I did have to change into a sweatshirt, though. It has gotten really, it's getting really cold here in Indiana at night. We've not had a very warm summer, to be honest. I think we've only had a few days that like been in the 80s or maybe, a, you know, a couple, like maybe seven or eight days. I don't know. We've had some 70 and 80 degree, like 80 degree weather. But, and even, I think it's gotten up into the 90s, but it just doesn't seem super hot because then at night it falls back down to like, um, you know, 50s, uh, 60s. It just... And I've been, like, turning my air off at night, and uh, I had to go turn my air off because it was just super chilly, and I thought, I'm putting my sweatshirt on. So, enough about my Indiana weather, but, <coughs> sorry guys, I'm still getting over this sinus infection stuff. Um, so, let me know um, down below in the comments, how's your weather been? I've heard a lot of people uh, say that they're in areas that are extremely, extremely hot. But we've just had a pretty mild uh, weather this summer. Um, and I don't know whether it's going to get any hotter or if it's not. Um, but I've really not even, like, uh, been uncomfortable. Um, like, taking Violet out and stuff, it's not been bad, so... Okay, guys, I do have a lozenge in my mouth, so I cut often and stuff. So let's get into this. This is a Bring Back My Bar bar haul, pretty much. Um, and I got a few things out of the clearance uh, section as well. So um, let's get into it. Let's dive into it. These are bars that I decided I wanted to stock up on. And um, I couldn't live without. So let's see what I got. Okay, I got one bar of Southern Sweet Tea. I don't have scent notes on these guys. All right, I'm not going to give scent notes today, okay? I don't have scent notes on it. I forgot. Okay, Southern Sweet Tea. This is um like a peach... Tea, basically just a nice peach tea like um oh, what is that that tea that yeah uh, people used to get mm, it's beautiful hang on let me go get my other bring back my bars where i got the notes okay hang on all right i'm back i forgot all about the scent notes guys um i need another Okay, Southern Sweet Tea. I'm going to grab my other bar and give you the scent notes on it. It is heirloom peach, orange juice, and white tea. Those over there. And that's what it is. I get a lot of orange juice out of this. A lot of people don't, but I do. And it has a peach quality, like a peach tea quality in there. It's, it's a good one. It's nice. I've worn this in my bedroom and I thought, okay, um, I, it's went in my club. It's in my quarterly club. I don't think it's something that I'm going to like necessarily warm a lot of like throughout the year, probably spring and summer. So I didn't feel like I needed like a big stock up on this one. That's why I only got one. I wanted enough. This one, I figured with this one and the one I already have, these two should be plenty for me to warm for this summer um so it's kind of what i'm going for and then my club won't run until august my club will run on august 4th so um i'll get another bar then um but i don't want like tons of this throughout the year but i thought it'd be a nice summer scent to have and i'm not real fond of a lot of summer scents anyway so i thought i would go ahead and just grab some of that and uh, try it out. I think I'll put that one there. That. There we go. Because I got to put all this stuff away. I haven't even put any stuff away yet. All right. So, guys, let's move on. Just 
two. And this, I'll save this for last. That is what I got out of my clearance, so I'll save that for last. All right, um, watermelon patch. Find this one in this bar. Right here, watermelon patch. I only got one more bar of this one. Um, the set notes are sweet vine ripened watermelon. And it's a pretty pink wax. Kind of a reddish pink. This is a nice scent. It was really a good watermelon. I enjoyed it. I really did. And there again, it's not something I'm going to warm in the winter time, fall and winter. So I just went ahead and got one more bar of it because I thought the, this bar and the other bar I got from my Bring Back My Bar um, uh, consultant kit would be enough to get me through for the summer. And this is in my club for one bar. I think I put it in quarterly. I may have them in both of them right now, but uh, before it runs, I'm going to just put it in quarterly. Um, and that way I'll get one bar every three months because it's not something, it's a seasonal type scent. And that's what I put my seasonal scents because I don't want like a lot of it, but I do want enough to have when the season comes back to be able to warm through it. So that's kind of the method of my madness, guys. Grab the next one. I think those are the only two that I only purchased one of. And I was going to try to do the, oh well. This one, let me find it in this one too. Oh, this is over in the other room. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. The next one is Churro Churro. And this has got baked pastry, cinnamon, and sugar. And it sure does. It is amazing. Um, this is my favorite one. So I got three more bars. I had the original and uh, and I got three more bars, and I think I've got two of these in my quarterly and one of these in my bi-monthly. Um, because I just want to keep, I want to get stocked up on this one quite a bit. Because this is one I will warm by itself. This is one that I'm going to mix with other things. So I do want a nice healthy stockpile of this. So until I get tired of it, this is, this is going in there. And it kind of gives, it's not exactly like almond croissant. But it kind of gives me almond croissant vibes, which um, I prefer almond croissant, but I really like this one too. So that's churro churro. All right, let me find this one over here. Okay, the next one I purchased is white out. I restocked on that one. And it's cool peppermint, sweet golden apple, and winter pine. I love this one. I swear there's a little bit of cinnamon in there. And I went ahead and repurchased. <laughs> Sorry, I repurchased three more of those. Um, so I have four. A little over about four. I love this scent. I love peppermint. Um, this one I really enjoyed. I think it's got a little hint of cinnamon that I pick up from. And I really did like this one. So I wanted to make sure I had plenty of that one. And that also is going in my club. Next one is My Wish. And this one has fig, violet, marshmallow. Ugh. Pretty purple. I'm not sure. On, I'm not sure if I'm showing all the wax colors or not, guys. Mm, this one I get just a really nice, sweet marshmallow scent. A uh, little hint of violet and fig. Oh, it's beautiful. I got three more of that because this one I just absolutely really loved. Just fell in love with that one. So that's another fave. I had a hard time, guys, because I wanted to get really a lot of a lot of these. But I just decided to go ahead and get um, stacked up on a few that I could. And I'm kind of debating whether to put another order in or not before the end of the month. Because Bring Back My Bar, they announced that it is going to, and well, they have always said it was going to be the end of this month. But in our newsletter or like our news in Sensi, our Sensi workstation, um, they did announce that it would end the last day of this month, June. Um, last time they did extend it this time and evidently they're not going to. All right. So the next one is white sand. 
So get stocked up, guys. Put your orders in. Get them in your clubs before it's too late. Because um, who knows when they'll be back. This is uh, Night Blooming Jasmine Coconut Milk and Rice. Mm, this is beautiful. Mm, I fell in love with this one, too. These There was a lot of really good bars in this Bring Back My Bar. So I went ahead and got three more. Okay, I absolutely loved it. Uh, this is something that I will warm, I think, a lot of. I just loved it. There's a lot of them that I fell in love with. Okay, the next one I got was Fluffy. Oh, I'm sorry, Fuzzy Blanket. I almost said Fluffy Fleece. <laughs> fuzzy Blanket. I got two more of this one. Um, the only reason I only got two more of this, I do like this one. I'm, I'm sorry. It's got lavender, sandalwood, and sweet honeysuckle. And I really do like this one. It reminds me a lot of Jammy Time. And everybody says it's also like reminiscent of stargazing. And I do have stargazing. I have one bar of it. I've never warmed it though. So I did sniff it the other day and it does smell very similar, I'm thinking. This one, I feel like the honeysuckle brings in a little bit of a laundriness note to it, but not overwhelmingly. And I don't like honeysuckle myself, but I warmed two cubes of this in my bedroom. It was a nice, soft, beautiful scent. To, it was comfy. And so I wanted to get stocked up on it. I'm not sure if this is, and it's in my club. Um, it is, I think, in my quarterly club. And I'm not sure, it may be my monthly too. I'm not sure, my monthly. Um, but it may not stay in my club forever because I have some other ones that are very similar to this one, but I thought it'd be nice to have something that's a little bit softer, um, rather than jammy times, very, very bold. And I'm not sure about steak stargazer and I only have one of that. So, but, uh, yeah, jammy time is very, very bold. And sometimes maybe I don't want a bold set in my bedroom. Um, sometimes when I'm sleeping, I don't want something super duper strong in my bedroom so th i thought this would be just nice something soft to cuddle up to and get cozy and get my fuzzy blanket out and drift off to sleep uh, i knew this was going too well i tell you guys i've had a day and i keep saying oh this is gonna be my last video I think, oh well let me just get one more done let me just get well, let me get it done let me get it done. <laughs> Bear with me. Okay, the next one that I repurchased was Cherry Vanilla. I got two more of Cherry Vanilla. And this has got set notes of candied cherry, sugared almonds, white chocolate ice cream. This was really pretty. I really liked it. It was a good performer. I did it in my open concept. I did three cues in my open concept. I loved it. I just thought it was really a nice sweet cherry scent with a little bit of that almond coming through i didn't really get the white chocolate ice cream kind of like a creaminess to it but mm, i really enjoyed it so i didn't have any cherry scents in my club right now um maraschino sugar cookie i took out of my club because i've got a couple bricks of it and um i'm kind of thinking that they're i think they're going to bring that one back um i could be wrong but i just feel like it was so popular that they would be stupid if they didn't bring it back this fall and winter. Um, so that's another reason I took it out of my club. Um, I also have red, white, and berry pie. I have about six, five or six bars. I think I might have more up there, but I have probably about six bars at least of that stockpiled. And I do not have that in my club. So all the like cherry type scents like that, I don't really have in my club. So I thought I'm going to go ahead and put this one in. Um, because this is kind of reminiscent of both of them, but yet different. So in case I can't get red, white, and blueberry pie back or maraschino sugar cookie back, I at least had this. So this was very good though. I really did enjoy it. And it was a good performer. Okay, guys, we're almost done. Okay, the next one that I repurchased is Plum and White Woods. And I only got two of this because I heard some people say they weren't sure how it would age. 
And after I got it in and, and ordered it, recently I've heard somebody say this is this ages very, very well. If I had known that, I would have got more. I may up this in my club. I'm playing around either putting an order in before the end of this month or starting a monthly club to throw some more in. A monthly club just to get one, just to let it ship once. I may let it ship twice. Ship June and July maybe to get kind of stocked up a little bit more of these. Um, and then, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing yet. But anyway, this is another beautiful one that I love. Um, I love the plum in this. The plum is absolutely beautiful. And it comes through wonderfully. It's got raspberry preserves, damson plum, and vanilla orchid. And it is beautiful. It is perfumey. I'm not going to say it's not. It's perfumey to me. Mm. It's so pretty. I love that. I love that vanilla orchid with it. And yeah, so I got three bars of this, but I would like to probably get some more now that I know it's going to age well. All right, guys, we're almost to the end here. Oh, here it is. Okay, the next one I repurchased was Cashmere Pear. I bought two of those. I could not get like tons of each one. So I thought, well, I'll just get a few bars here and there of each one. That way I've got a little stockpile of each one in case something happens. Because you never know. And this has got White Amber, Madagascar Vanilla, Pear, Red Ginger, and Cashmere. Mm, this is beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. To me, it's got like a spicy note in there. A um, little cologne -y, but not anything majorly cologne -y, But I love the spicy cashmere stuff. I don't really get a pear in it. But um, I got three of those. This is a very strong... And I did three cubes out of my open concept in it. It warmed fantastically. So, um, yeah, I just can see... If my camera is working right because earlier it just kept shutting off so I thought oh, I better check okay then this is the last of the bring back my bars that I ordered guys mm, I don't know where that other that bar is at what did I do what did I do with that other war um all right, anyway, I got two vanilla suede, guys. I don't know where my other one is with this, the set notes. Sorry. Mm, this is beautiful. This is, I think it's, I don't know what, what all this has got in it. I know it's got vanilla, it's got suede. Mm, it's fantastic. Mm, yeah, I don't know what happened to that. I have to hunt that one down. No, I thought all my bring my bars were back in there. So I got two of these, and I got another one of these somewhere. Um, absolutely fantastic. And when I warmed it, I did actually get vanilla coming through. You don't smell it so much on cold, but it did come through. So I got a couple of those because I thought, this is a pretty strong one, and um, but it is really good. It is going in. All these are in my club. All the ones I just mentioned have gone into my club. Um, I'm telling you straight up. So um, that is all that um, I... Uh, repurchased. That was it. That was my haul. Except for I did go into the clearance because there is a scent that um, since he kind of got me hooked on when I became a consultant they sent me my consultant kit and it had this uh, shower wash in it that I absolutely fell in love with and it was jeweled pomegranate. So then I thought okay when because um, then I heard that you know they bring fall scents back and so I thought okay maybe it's a fall scent. So when the fall came around, I was looking for that in wax, and it didn't come back in wax. So ever since then, I'm kind of wondering what jewel pomegranate smelled like in wax. I've had it in body wash. I've had it in hand soap. Um, so I went into the clearance, and they've got like a little um, bundle in there. You get two jewel pomegranate wax bars and a room spray in jeweled and pomegranate for twelve dollars that well it's like buying two bars for six bucks a piece and then you get like the room spray for free so i thought that's a pretty good deal so i went ahead and bought this little combo and i recently have uh, fallen in love with room sprays absolutely love them 
you just have to be careful because they are oil based so make sure that you spray them up high enough to where when they land you're not getting oil stains on your carpets and on your furniture and all that kind of stuff just do a couple sprays real high and um, just watch if you're doing it like in your bathroom some people spray it in their toilet um, rather than in the air and that kind of stuff so I got two of these um, I don't even know what the scent is I don't even think I put them on this one mm. I think it's like um, pomegranate like orange or clementine and a hint of cinnamon and it is let me see if it's on here I don't think it is but this is fantastic I love this one it's kind of tart it's got a little sweetness it's got um, yeah, it's like a tarty sweet but not overly sweet and then you got that little bit of cinnamon not much it's not hardly you can hardly detect it mm, but I love this one so I was so happy to be able to get two bars of that and this. So that is my haul, guys. Um, what I did not repurchase, um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about um, and stock up on. One of them was Ghostly Greetings because I have like six bars of this already. It did go in my club. It's going in my quarterly club because I feel like this is more like a, you know, fall, winter type seasonal scent. So, um, it doesn't have to be, but for me, I'm probably not going to warm it in the dead of summer. This summer, maybe, because it's cold. But, um, so, yeah, that's where Ghostly Greetings is headed. And there's another one. Oh, Painted Leaves. Um, I already have a bar of this, and I have this bar. And I think that's going to be enough to get me started for the fall. And then in, in August, I'll get another bar of this. So that's going to be plenty three, but this, cause this is a powerhouse. It is super, super strong. And so I think that's going to do me until, and then my next club will be in October and then I'll get another bar. So that would be like plenty of bars and then plenty of bars to start me over for the next year. Cause I like to keep some in my stash to get me going for the next season or the next time, you know, fall and spring, spring and fall come around. So painted leaves, I did not purchase more, but it is my club. Beach, I did not purchase any more, and Beach is not going in my club because I do not care for it. It's got that suntan note and lotion note in there that I don't care. I don't like. Um, mini, Love and Kisses Mini. Um, I did repurchase more of this. Um, it's in another haul, so I'm not going to really go into the detail. That is in my club. Um, Harbor's Edge, I did not purchase more. It's not going in my club. I didn't care for it that much. Uh, Rustic Lodge, same thing. I did not um, haul any more. I did three cubes out my open concept, and I could get, barely get anything. Um, I kind of been playing around, maybe putting it in my club and get another bar, and kind of letting it sit and then start and like try it in the fall and see if it's better. I might do that for this one, um, but I'm not sure. I don't know. Um, it's awful tree note, though, to me, so maybe not that one. Hemingway, I also was playing around with doing the same thing with that one. Uh, just letting it, I, cause I, once again, I did three cubes, and I didn't get a whole lot out of it. Um, I do like it on cold. I really do, but I thought... Maybe I might throw that in the club and try one more bar of it in the fall and see what happens. Um, but I'm not sure. I don't know if I even want to do that. And then happy birthday. Um, I did three cubes at my open concept. I had a hard time smelling this. Um, it smells great on cold. But I just had a hard time on, on warm smelling it and it didn't wasn't a great performer. Um, I even, I think I have this in one of my clubs right now to try another bar of it. Um, but I thought maybe I'd just get a few of those because I know a lot of people love this one and think it's fabulous. And I thought it'd be just kind of cute to give it for birthday gifts, you know, happy birthday, happy birthday, you know? So I think I might keep that in my club just for that purpose but not for my own uh, use. Unless I fall in love with it. I don't know. Maybe I will. And that's all I got in my thing. I don't know if, that's, if there's any more or not. I wasn't really planning on doing that. 
So guys, that is what uh, is going on with my um, Bring Back My Bar haul. So I hope you enjoyed it and let me know down below. Did you haul some or did you club it or did you do both? I did both because I like to have it in my hand. I like to have some curing and cooking on the, you know, going on and kind of cooking and so forth so that when I do grab it, it's ready to go. Um, I like to have some for like like this fall and winter, I like to have stuff that's gonna ready to go for fall and winter, and then I like to have it for the have a little bit left over for the next fall and winter, so that I already got stashed to start going into the next season that season again. Um, but that's just me. So let me know how you guys do it, and if you have a different system, um, because everybody does things differently, and I like to hear. Um, everybody's ideas and thoughts because it's interesting to me because I may pick up some tips and and things that I have not thought about before as well so um, I'm going to get off of here guys and uh, thank you so much for joining me if you're new here please uh, click the subscribe button before you leave because I've been checking my analytics and 65% of my viewers are people who are not subscribed so if you're going to view my videos you might as well subscribe because it is free and then you can click the notification bell and you get notified of any of my new uploaded videos so you don't miss anything, guys. All right? So we'd love to have you join our family, be part of our community here. And if you've done all that already, thank you guys so very, very much. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you give me the thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below because I'd love to hear from you. And uh, share, uh, watch till the end. All those things help my channel grow. So I love you guys so very, very much, and I hope you guys have a very happy weekend. Happy, healthy, safe weekend. All right? I'll see you next time.